Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to download a video from YouTube. I'm going to use Mozilla Firefox to do that, and we need an add-on through the Tools section. Now, there's a lot of great educational information on YouTube, and many instructors want to download that and put that in a seamless environment. I'm going to show you how to do that using the Flash Player. So first, let's download that video. So go to Tools in Firefox, and let's get that add-on and I'm going to go to Get Extensions and the particular extension I want is Fast Video Download so let's go ahead and type that in and I've already gone there before so I just hit search on Fast Video Download make sure I'm searching there and that takes me to the uh, add-on and it says save embedded video files from video hosting servers such as YouTube and that's exactly what we want to do and once we download that and install that extension you'll see a little icon at the bottom of your browser screen that allow you to download the FLV from YouTube so let's go ahead and install that I'll click on it and I'll scroll down here to install and install let's install now and I see I have to restart Firefox to actually see the extension so let's restart and now you see in my Firefox browser window at the very bottom I have my extensions so let's go to YouTube and let's download a video so www.youtube.com okay. and I'm going to take a look at virtual worlds very popular topic in education today a lot of people are building classes in virtual worlds and I'm interested in this particular video I'd like to download it and you can see there it is and it's going to begin to play and all I have to do is now click on the bottom icon here so I'll turn this down just a little bit let's click on that icon and I'm going to search where I'm going to put that so I'm actually going to put it in a folder on my desktop called fast video and click save and that video is now being downloaded to that folder. Now, very important to understand is that we're not actually recording the video as it's playing. We're just actually grabbing that FLV from YouTube and downloading it right into the folder called Fast Video. Let's take a look at what's in that folder right now. So I'll click on the folder on my desktop. Let's see here. And there's nothing. And there's There you go. And there's the uh, FLV right there. Now, if you click on the FLV, nothing will happen okay and the reason nothing will happen is that an FLV needs a flash player to play in and we're gonna show you how to do that right now so now that you have your video downloaded let me show you how to get it up on the web and into a player we're gonna put this video in a flash player so let's open up CS3 professional and click on flash file action script 3 and there's our flash window now flash has a lot of great components and we're gonna hit window and bring up some of those components and the one that we're specifically interested here in is the FLV playback component. Let's just drag that to stage. Okay. Cool. And I'm just going to minimize this now because we're done with this. Let's move this off the stage. And uh, I'll just pull this out and center it a little bit. And to save one step, I'm actually going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to go ahead and save this in the Flash Video folder, the one that we downloaded our YouTube video into. And we'll just call it Fast Video. And now I want to get that video into it, so what I'm going to do is go to my Components Inspector. So we'll go to Windows and click on Component Inspector. And this panel actually will take you the rest of the way. So you want to navigate to the source, so click on Source and hit the folder there. And since I saved this already in the Fast Video folder, it will see the video that I want to uh, load into it. So click on Exploring Virtual Worlds, hit o Open, and hit OK. And what you've done now here is you've actually put the video into the Flash Player. So we actually actually control test this and see if we do see our video. And there it is. So we've got that part done. Let's get rid of this now. And there's one last thing. We've got to publish it and get the files that we can put up on the web so it can play on the web. So we'll go to File. 
click on publish settings and so right here you're going to create a flash SWF and HTML you have the option of creating a Windows projector or a Macintosh projector these are actually uh, compact files that will play on your desktop window really nice to use especially if you're giving a briefing and you're and you're not sure about your web connection it's great to have it all on the desktop to play uh, for an audience so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and publish and I'm going to bring this down a little bit so you can actually see the publish button and just click publish and now all those files have been put into the video uh, folder and let's take a look at that folder right now let's look inside the fast video folder now through this process we've generated a number of files the two you do not need to upload to the web is the FLA the fast video development file and the fast video executable which you'll play on your desktop so let me just explain this real quickly the HTML file plays the SWF file which has the video player in it which plays the YouTube video the skin and the JavaScript file assist that process so you want to upload those to the web and when you do you want to link to that HTML file so when I click on that there's my video quite the process if you have any questions, feel free to email me at livelym1 at nku.edu.